As a firm lover of RPGs, one could say that I've heavily adapted to the more repetitive nature of video games. But why are some games universally panned for their repetitive gameplay while others seemingly designed the same way aren't? Repetitive may be a trigger word for poorly received games, but believe it or not, some games take good advantage of that type of gameplay, and today I wanted to talk about when repetition is utilized well and when it's utilized poorly. Let's start with when repetition is poorly capitalized on. More often than not in the modern gaming industry, games with a lack of original or varied content often rely on repeating the same content over and over again to simulate hours of playtime. None other than Destiny is a prime example of this. A lot of the end game in Destiny is playing through the same strikes in the same raid over and over until you get the gear that increases your light enough to do them again the following week. Occasionally there are timed weekly events like Iron Banner and the Trials of Osiris which also offer highlight gear, but unless you're content with the PvP mode that is essentially a jumbled mess with next to no real balance backed by a live team that actually admitted to only patching weapons when they lose or gain popularity instead of when they present a problem to the functionality of the game, all you have is the PvE content which is at the mercy of Crucible crybabies on the Destiny forums. Another game that can serve as an example of when repetition is used poorly, this time from the indie market, is last year's indie Juggernaut. Five Nights at Freddy's. Say what you will about the creepy backstory, but one thing is undeniable. Five Nights at Freddy's is one of the most repetitive games on Steam. Though I personally am a fan of the second game just for the simple reason that you can do a little more than look left and right, there is no denying that you will repeat the same formula through every level of each game and it quickly gets boring. From what I've heard though, the most recent installment in the series, Sister Location, massively changed up the formula, changing up the levels as time progresses and giving you new objectives as the game goes on. Only took Cawthon 4 reskins and a failed spinoff to finally get the sequel right. Point being, players don't like slogging through the same thing all while leaving unrewarded. One more example that I hate to have to say is Warframe. Now I am a huge fan of Warframe. The weapons, Warframes, and cosmetics are stylish, the gameplay is fun and addictive, but there is a massive turnoff to the game that can really alienate many common gamers. And that is the overly repetitive grind. I'll be the first to admit that every weapon and every frame I have took months of resource grinding, waiting for crafting timers, power leveling, and waiting for catalysts and formas to build them to my liking. And in order to get those, you often have to fight the same enemies over and over again in areas that may look different but feel too similar to even think about it, and the RNG applied to the higher tiered prime items can truly make tower runs a chore to play through. The point I'm trying to make with these three examples is that repetition without substantial reward can be extremely destructive to a game's replayability. It sucks even more when a game relies heavily on that repetition to disguise its lack of original content much like Destiny does. But now that we've managed to cover the games that utilize repetitive gameplay badly, Let's look at some games that manage to still be quite repetitive in nature, but are nowhere near as much of a chore to play. The first one that comes to mind that I might actually consider doing some content for are the Borderlands games. Specifically Borderlands 2. The father of looter shooters earned its title with its special engine that procedurally generated, and I quote, 870 gajillion guns. The endgame to Borderlands 2 is similar to Destiny in that most of your time will be spent fighting the same mini bosses and raid bosses over and over again in the hopes of obtaining their respective legendary loot. The difference between Borderlands 2 and Destiny is that 1. You have no weekly limitation, and 2. Killing said bosses is massively more rewarding in Borderlands than it is in Destiny. Killing a boss in Destiny more or less results in one raid or strike specific weapon and or an armor piece. Killing a raid boss in Borderlands, however, results in a massive explosion of common and rare loot. Some bosses also open a treasure room, allowing for a second chance at rare loot if you didn't get something from the boss themselves. You are heavily rewarded for your time, and even allows you to go in again without some stupid weekly reset timer. Another game that is repetitive for good reasons is Diablo 3, mainly for the same reasons as Borderlands 2 and then some. Just like Borderlands, Diablo's endgame is pretty much just going through the same dungeons, killing the same bosses, doing the same daily missions, pretty repetitive stuff. But also, just like Borderlands, you are heavily rewarded for your time. Bosses drop a plethora of loot. Daily missions, despite being the exact same ones you go through when you start a character off, offer chests with rare loot upon completion. And if you want to, you can create a character that can specifically undergo challenges tied to events that you go through normally during the campaign, what Diablo 3 calls seasons, 
which will eventually reward you with an exclusive armor set. Now I may have dumped plenty of time into games like Destiny and Warframe, but games like Borderlands and Diablo can reward me with hundreds of weapons and equipment in the time it takes for Destiny's weekly reset to occur or one of my new Warframes to finish crafting. It's all about instant satisfaction with these grindy games with the repetitive nature. So what do you guys think? I'd love to hear what you guys think about repetitive games and which ones you personally like. If you enjoyed the video, a like would be much appreciated. I'll see you in the next video.